Once upon a time, there was a young boy who has an impossible dream. A dream that he did not think it is going to happen sooner than he could imagine.
coffee. Uh, yeah, there you go. Hey, welcome back and hi. Um, yeah, so I just want to give you a quick update of like what's going on right now. Uh, it's been a long time since I posted my last video and that was like I think March of 2020 or around April of 2020. I think that's the, uh, the last video that I uploaded. Um, and then after that, it just went crazy and I didn't have time to create any videos for myself. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna give you a quick update what's happening right now and where this channel is heading towards to. So, yeah, so I have <coughs> my second coffee right now. And by the way, I'm in Regina, Saskatchewan right now. So, yeah, it's pretty nice weather here, like sunny all day. Uh, it's a little bit cold sometimes, but way better than Vancouver uh, right now. It's pretty cold down there. It's raining pretty much all day. But anyways, um, yeah, so I have my notes here just to keep me on track. So during this time, like around March or before that, way before that, I was already in school and uh, I was working at the same time and then running uh, three um, businesses at the same time so and I have uh, a baby so during that time it was really crazy uh, I need to juggle multiple um, things at the same time uh, I need to wake up like 4 or 5 a.m. just to get a time for myself just to have this moment that I can think and I can work on my business and then after that I just you know I go to work and then after work uh, I need to spend time with my family and then it's just like you know the same cycle every single day and then if we have assignments uh, in school then uh, Michelle is there to help me out um, do the assignments and all the stuff so um, after that I finished the school around January of 2020 and then I start working after I graduated so these are the times where really get crazy. COVID or like the pandemic uh, was just starting to pick up. Coronavirus. 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 Yes, the coronavirus. And then, you know, most businesses were closed and pretty much all people are scared um, during that time. And then it was just crazy. So I didn't have time to create any more videos for myself and even um, I even refused some of my client work so that's what happened and then I was transitioning from one job to another and then just trying to find the sweet spot of what really works for me and what really works for my family and with my business and all this stuff so that's kind of like what happened and then it kind of like progresses um, towards 2020 and then beginning of 2021 it was really crazy so the second thing that I'm gonna talk about is just where am I right now and where is the channel or the business is at right now um, so basically um, during those time period we opened some businesses some partnership I need to turn down a lot of client work because of the time the, t the time constraint and I just don't have time to to do all those things uh, there are times that uh, I need to hire um, other creatives to do the work or to do the project and yeah I think it worked well and I'm I am looking um, to take that route instead of me doing the work and yeah there was just kind of like there's a lot of things going on and uh, what else I need to talk about um, and during with those uh, during the pandemic we got into like a new hobby pretty much where not just myself but also my family had enjoy um, doing those things and this is really like going outdoors since like malls and other public places is close to the public because of the pandemic because of the social distancing but we found a way to still continue to enjoy and explore places where there is not much people um, going there so where else should we go 
is like the back country just like there are only few people that can go there there are only people that is able to go there and we're just lucky that what we currently have is capable of going those places so we started going outdoors like overlanding I'm not sure if you've heard about it um, it's kind of like semi off-roading but more of like a camping kind of niche so you just go off-road and then camp at the same time using your vehicle um, I'm pretty sure you've seen some of my posts uh, with a rooftop pan with like a kitchen built in at the back of my SUV and all of those things so um, myself and my family were really enjoying those times exploring new places and getting to know other people as well who has the same passion or who has the same likes um, when it comes to adventures and outdoors and really socializing with, with other people so those are the things that keep us mentally healthy and uh, at the same time um, inspired us to do more those are just the beginning that's why every time I'm off from work uh, we usually like pretty much every days off we go um, overlanding to different places we camp there even just for one night or even for like two three nights with friends and with um, you know uh, other people those are the things that we enjoyed really um, during the pandemic and it was it feels really good to explore the places that we haven't been into and it's an eye-opening that Sometimes we always look for um, other places that we can't go because we want to travel over there because the place there is really nice but without knowing that we already have those kind of features or places in just you know close around where we live. So those are the things that happened during the pandemic and yeah I'm also in the phase of balancing between the time family the time for my business the time for myself and the time for um, you know errands that I need to run and you know at the same time I also have a work um, so I'm still I only have 24 hours a day and uh, with the 24 hours eight hours or sometimes five to eight hours is just for sleep because that really helps you know maintain my immune system um, without taking any vitamins or any supplements and then what's left like 15 hours I need to go to work and I have family and I have business so uh, when it comes to running my business it's really I'm really in the game where I need to automate pretty much 90 to 95 percent of the things that my business does so that's why I am leaning towards automating instead of me doing the client work and if I need to do a client work um, I may need help from other creators and uh, at the same time I'm no longer accepting any client work the only client that I will be keeping is only one and uh, one volunteer work and that's it I guess and other than that Michelle is still gonna run the creative motion and um, she will handle pretty much all the logistics and all the bookings uh, from there when she's done in her school so right now that's why we're in Regina because she's finishing her school at the same time but that so at least like after this she can focus on work uh, her family and at least she can also run um, one of the businesses that we have so these are kind of like the things that we need to think about forward there are three things that I really want to accomplish this is my goal in hoping our mistakes and failures and how we overcome it gives a little motivation and inspiration to you first as we chase our dreams and goals I'm hoping to share with you the processes including our takeaways from our failures and successes as we try to give life to each crazy ideas that we have second this is not a vlog but more in documenting our journey as we live this precious gift called life in hopes that when we get old 
we can look back these fun times and laugh with our fears, failures, and crazy ideas that we thought is impossible. But we still did it. Now think about a moment in your grade school or whatever where you thought, that's it. I have no way out where you almost puke because you're screwed. But looking back at those moments, you kind of laugh your ass out about it and saying, what I was thinking at that time. That's what I want to feel when I will watch these videos that I will be creating. Third, and all of this is in a form of storytelling. Not just random videos that was put together without a point and slap travel music underneath it. This is one of the areas that I want to be good at. Knowing how to articulate my ideas where people can hopefully relate. This can also help me how to better communicate as this is one of the areas that I'm struggling with, especially English is not my first language, but the only language that majority of people knows at least. Who knows? I might be able to inspire a person from a country I'm at that third of. But before I end this, I have one question. At the end of the day, before you go to bed and close your eyes, do me a favor and ask yourself, what is it you really want to do that makes you happy if you take money out of the equation? That thing that will keep you stay awake at night and get you to wake up early in the morning because you can't just wait because you're pumped and excited. Well, I hope you'll wake up the next day excited to start working hard towards your answer. That's it. That's it for this video. Really. And I'll see you in the next one. Enjoy.